And today I'll be exploring ex existing solutions. There are quite some water pollution and impurity issues in the South Bay. I would like to study existing solutions to solve the water pollution problems and understand their chemistry connections. I'm especially interested in finding water solutions to lower the hardness of our drinking water in the water of local ponds such as Polywog Pond in our community. Water often contains divalent calcium and, mag and magnesium cations, primarily as bicarbonates. Water that contains 120 ppm or more of calcium and magnesium impurities is considered hard. Drinking water in the South Bay is very hard because it contains a high level of calcium and magnesium ions at an average of about 300 ppm. Water softening is a process of removing calcium, magnesium, and certain other metal cations in hard water. People have developed a lot of methods to achieve water softening, including lime softening, ion exchange raisins, and anal filtration and reverse osmosis membranes. For my study, I will select three existing solutions to support. Listed below are the three methods, the Washington soda method, the lime method, and the ion exchange raisins method. What is the Washington soda method? This method is used Washington soda to react with the chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium to form respective carbonates for precipitation out of water with the reaction formula below. The history about this method goes all the way in the past to the time of the ancient Egyptians and the Romans. They used to use soda ash from burned plants. Then the chemist Nicholas LeBlanc in later years invented an industrial method to produce sodium carbonate. The chemist Ernest Solvay later invented a more sustainable process to produce sodium carbonate. Washing soda is widely used for domestic woods washing since the 19th century but it's also expanded to industry uses required by government regulations. However, washing soda is caustic, and thus it will irritate our skin and eyes and will corrode fiberglass or aluminum surfaces. What is the lime method? The chemistry of principle of this method is to apply lime to precipitate calcium and magnesium salts out of the water. Dissolved lime increases pH and changes the solubility of carbonates in the water. Dissolved carbon dioxide becomes bicarbonate and then carbonate. It causes calcium carbonate to precipitate due to exceeding the solubility. Magnesium can be precipitated as magnesium hydroxide too. The history about the lime method was all the way in the past too. Thomas Clark discovered the lime softening of hard water and dubbed it as the Clark process. It was the first process used in 1841 to treat the same sort of river water. Lime softening became popular in the early 1900s with more industrial wastewater generation. The government and private industry uses this method extensively to treat water. However, it adds extra cost and consumes more energy to dispose and recycle the large volumes of calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. The third and final method that I'm going to talk about in this presentation is the ion exchange method. The chemistry of the ion exchange method is to reduce the water hardness by replacing the magnesium and calcium ions with sodium or potassium ions. It uses poly organic polymers with the anionic functional groups that can bind more strongly to the divalent cations than the monovalent cations. Calcium and magnesium salts thus precipitate out of water, reducing the hardness of water. The German chemist Gans used zeolite as water softeners in 1905. A styrene divinyl benzene strong base anion exchange resin was developed in 1948. Many strong and weak acid cations and strong and weak anions resins were developed since the year 1948. It is widely used in lodging detergents for domestic and industry uses. However, the process increases sodium levels in water and sometimes the ion 
exchanges, exchange raisins can lead to organic contamination of water. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation, and I hope you learned a lot about the methods that I chose that will help remove water pollution from the planet.